But I just want to give my honor to God tonight and just just thank him for what he's been to me. Uh -huh. There's uh I've listened to a lot of the testimonies here today, the three that I've heard. And we have a lot of similarity. See, that was my first mistake. Uh -huh. I let that devil in my house. Yep. At the time I had got a degree as a radiation therapist, was making thirty dollars an hour, working and doing fine, bought my own home. I was only like 24, 25. Things was well. I let them come in the house and they began to do it. And I looked at them and I watched their movements. I watched the effect of that drug on them. And they did nothing. They just did what they had to do and they sat there and they offered it to me and I said no. They offered it to me six weeks in a row. Mm. Mm. And on that six weeks, that six Saturday, I said okay. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, the devil don't care how long it takes to get you. Right, right. He gonna be patient because he know what his future is. He know he's out. His time is done. It's just a matter of his time. Mm -hmm. He waited. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I can see the whole picture. Now, then I couldn't see. I was just part of the, the whole plot going along. And I did it. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel it the first time. I didn't feel it the second time. But the third time they put a piece on there. Like I went to the moon. Came back. And I was an astronaut. That sent me on an 18-year crack cocaine journey. That was an old lady at Christmas time. And I, I, I've asked the Lord to forgive me for this. We were, she was at a store. And my cousin and I, we rode, we had made a plan to go get some more money to get this thing. There was an old lady. I know she had to be at least 75 or 80. Mm-mm. Don't, don't y'all hate me for this. Okay? I'm just telling you what, what that, that demon lady did. You know, and, and, and after he takes your self-esteem, you don't care. But this old lady came out of, the, out, of, out, of, out of the store and she had a purse and she was walking. And my cousin was way down, because I was fast, he was parked way down the road, man, maybe about a quarter of a mile. So he couldn't be seen. That's that's what he told me. They won't be able to see the car. <laughs> Man, think about that. And this lady came out and she had a purse. And I grabbed her purse. Mm. And I went to run it. Headed for that car. And that lady didn't let that purse go. Mm -mm. That old lady held on to that purse. And I was saying, let it go. Let it go. And, and I was dragging her on the ice. She still never let that purse go. And I mean, I got to have taken that lady a good 40 or 50 feet mm. on that ground. And then I looked at the car, and he was pulling off. I let that lady's purse go. Because then it was about me getting away. My cousin was leaving me. Do you see what the devil will do with you? Mm -hmm. He'll get you in a predicament, and then he's going to leave you. Mm -hmm. People, you kill somebody? Or you shoot somebody or you go to jail. As soon as you in jail, you sitting in the cell. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Because he's gone now. Mm -hmm. He done used your body to do his deeds. That's right. We allow those things to happen. Mm -hmm. Satan has no power over you. He can't do no more than you allow. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You have control of you. You have the power. God gave that to us uh -huh. when he died on the cross.